DIY home decor idea, how to make a lamp. Let's get right into the video. You wonder often, I have on two pair, well, I have two pair of glasses. I have my regular glasses that I use on the daily, you know, for basic things. And then I also have an extra pair that I keep on top of my head because often when I'm doing projects and things like that and I have to see things that are up close and very small and instead of using a magnifying glass and things like that, I often will pull out the magnifier glasses and put them on my eyes. And so I just like to have them handy on top of my head so it's easy for me to just reach for them, switch them out, you know, put them back. The handy card, if you noticed on the card, I did have the card set or rather the lamp kit sitting here on the cart and what I was getting ready to do is make a pair of lamps for a room that I'm going to be making over and I wanted to bring you part of that process what I was doing well exactly how I made the lamps and if you wanted to do something like this you can come along and make you a lamp for your home finish pretty much the rest of the process of course to do a project like this you have to have a pair of vases which I'm going to use and I found these two at my local home goods store. I didn't want to take a chance on going out to my pre-love shops, my thrift shops, so I just went to my local stores to see if I could find something at a reasonable price and on this day I happened to find just that and they were very large in size which was excellent for me which is what I really really wanted and they happened to be on clearance as you've seen in the price tag for only $9 for each one of them. Very cost effective for this project. Here are the two bases once I have painted them. I did them in a satin finish. I didn't want a glossy finish or a semi -glossy. A little bit, very little bit, as you can see, of a sheen to it. Didn't want it flat because of the room and the style that it's going to bring you along as I turn these two big vases into lamps. They kind of starting to resemble some milk jugs in a way. They are exactly 20 inches in height, nine and a half inches wide. How I'm going to make the top portion where the uh, neck and the hearth, the lamp, uh, the lamp stuff. <laughs> I can't think of the name of it right now equipment is going to go uh, to make it into an actual lamp. What I've done in the past with things that I have made into lamps, jars and jugs that I have made into lamps, I usually use a bit to drill into the actual glass, but you can't see now, but if you've seen the previous clip, which I, you still wouldn't be able to tell, this particular jug vase the glass is not very thick. It is super thin. If I try to drill into this, most likely you could tell from the sound how thin it is. You really can't tell with sounds about glass and how, but anyway, um, <laughs> how thin it is due to the fact that it is very thin. I'm not going to drill into it because the minute I most likely start drilling into it, even when I put it over water and letting the water cool the bit down it is as it is when it's going inside of the jug uh it was still most likely crack so i'm not going to do that i'm not going to take that chance considering that i did find a pair and again i was going to shop at the pre-love store the thrift store but or an estate sale or yard sale pre-love you get it uh i didn't want to take the chance on trying to find two that was alike because it is very hard to find a mate when you are yard selling and things like that. Sometimes you do come across two. But in this instance, anyway, I found two sitting, as I like to say, waiting there just for me at my local home goods. So they were an excellent price, as you can see on the tag that I showed you before. They were $9 each, which is excellent for a glass vase of this size, which it actually was $19.99 originally to take is this square here which i was looking for an actual round that would fit inside the jug originally and these are just some that i have and i'm just a candle or something on it but i could not find they didn't have two i got tired of searching and i wasn't going to drive across town just for a little round that only cost like a dollar fifty so i just bought a square and I told myself I would just use my jigsaw and cut out a circle to fit 
inside of the jar as well. I could go to a local lamp supplier, have them to wire it and all that good stuff, but that would defeat the purpose because that would make them a little bit more, well, a lot more expensive. So when I could do this myself. In a previous video where I have made a lamp and I will try to leave that link down below if I remember. But as you can see here, this one fits right inside because it is routed along the edge and it fits snug inside of it. And of course, I'm gonna have to paint around this wood round to make it fit and drill a hole in here so I can put the lamp pit in here. I want them to match up, that's why I bought two. And then I'm just going to lay it down and go ahead and measure out the actual circle length. And I'm just going, well, I guess I could just turn it upside down, huh? So we'll just put this down here. And I guess I could put, peel off the paper. This was only $249, but it was 40% off. Instead of spending $89, $99 for a lamp of this size, I'm just going to make it myself, which you know, Chanel, she doesn't mind at all when she can do that and save money. And I just like doing things with my hands, making things. So, and you can see here, I'll just go around. Oops, got too close to the edge. projects like this again because it is a quite a cost effect. You can have a vision in your head and then you can make it happen. So here is the actual round and we're going to cut this out with the jigsaw. Next thing I'm going to show you here is putting together your complete light kit. It comes in a package with everything there to do the entire light kit. So you're just going to take apart the actual body of the lamp and these are the other three pieces that you're going to use along the neck of the lamp. Next you're going to get ready to just thread your wiring through the bottom portion and then you have this portion that is in the inside and it pops right out which has your screw terminals on them. One is a hot and the other is a neutral. Within your wires, when you feel it, it is very fine, but one side is gonna be rigid and one side is going to be smooth. Again, that is your hot and that is your neutral. These instructions are very, very simple and easy to follow. You can easily go right on YouTube, YouTube University, and watch one of the videos on how to put together a lamp kit. This brand that I chose here that I have bought in the past and have had this one is Portfolio YouTube University and it will show you just how to put together this complete lamp kit set here. It is very simple and very easy to do and me myself I was one that was intimidated a bit before with electrical things. Now there are some things that I just don't mess with but putting together a simple light kit is simple and easy to do. You can do this. Empower yourself, equip yourself, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> so you don't have to spend as much money to customize looks for your home. Here I added the wood round on top of it and it has the glue and it needs a little bit of touching up along here. I'm not gonna see it because I'm gonna add another element to the lamp that is going to cover this up. I am really liking my big lamps. And of course, again, I said, you can just go out and spend yourself a good, what, anywhere from for a lamp this size, the body now with the height that I previously told you, which is, and with the lamp kit edition, it is now, if I look straight on, it's right at 26 inches. I use small items because they're only going to dwarf them even more. Tip of the day. And so I need big things to fill it out instead of adding small things, which is going to just add a lot of clutter to the space because you have to keep adding things around, shots of things in order for the space to feel like it's filled in instead of so empty, even though I like negative space. And for the next portion here, I'm going to my local craft store, which on this day is going to be Hobby Lobby. Hop in here and I'm going to choose 
something to add around this to camouflage the messiness, which is going to be these little wooden balls. They are cut in half. Paint them with the same black spray paint that I use on top. And then I'm going to go ahead and sp spray paint those. And then we're going to use the glue gun and add them and camouflage all of the messiness that I have going on right here. Give it a more finished look. We'll add the hearth and then we'll add the lampshade and we'll be done. Here is the finished look once I have added the little baubles along the front. And as you can see here, they camouflage the wood round that was used as a topper to enclose the open portion of the vase and see exactly how it lights up. And of course it's gonna light up because I tested it before I added it to the wood round here. Let's turn it on. <gasps> we have lights. Here is the finished product part, and I'm just using an old lampshade that I already have here at home. Crowning touch, which will be the lampshade. And we'll add the lampshade right on top of it. Then we'll add the finial. Let me add it to a space so you can see just how the lamp looks. And then this happened. I broke the second lamp, but I had a spare, well, one that looks similar as you've seen in previous thrift videos, the one I paid a dollar for, the mercury glass lamp, and it has similar shape. So I'm going to use that and improvise within the space. And with the cord, if I didn't show you before, cord because you wonder did I I didn't as I told you before in the video I didn't drill through the back of the lamp because of the glass so the cord is ran from the bottom of the wood round which I cut a slit in the wood the cord runs off the top and it's just going to run down the bottom as it's turned around and in place in the room. Total cost for the entire project for me was $23 and that's for two lamps and that included both of the lamps as well as the little wooden balls that I adorned around it and the wood round that I had to add on top of the lamps. If you were doing something like this you would add in the cost of the hearth kit as well along with that which will probably bring the total around to $47 maybe $50. Rather than spending $100 to $129 for a pair of lamps of this size, I say $47. For me, $23 is an excellent price. This has been Chanel, and as always, stay inspired, motivated, and moving, creating something beautiful. If not for yourself, then for someone else. Bye for now.